Hi Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your December 8th, 2022, Venus Crossing the Galactic Center reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. Let us ask God, Source, Spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, to bless us, to move us forward in healing, loving, peace, keeping all that is hurtful and hateful from us. So let's see what we need to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. This is the Four of Swords. There can be energy around us, Cancer, of like, why even bother, bother or just feeling overly fatigued? We need to acknowledge it. There can be a sense of over-anxiety that makes it hard for us to move forward or an energy of like, I just don't care anymore. Like, I just want to be left alone. I'm so tired. That needs to be acknowledged. It can be that we're not feeling well. It can be also that we've pushed ourselves so hard that during this time of great energy coming in from Venus crossing the galactic center, we're like drained. We're just like, oh, I'm so done. I'm so over this. So just acknowledging this and taking it slow, taking it easy, being able to connect with ourselves and what we desire. We can also find it very hard to sleep. We can be having, you know, problems like even when we sleep, our stress levels aren't going down. We're not having good quality night sleeps. That's also going to be important for us to to acknowledge during this time that like we need to pay more attention to ourselves and our own personal well-being. I just see like this is this is a time for self-care. It's going to be really important. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides. Show me clearly. Okay. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, the Hanged Man, and Justice, which is Libra energy. Okay. Now let's look at Venus crossing the Galactic Center because the Galactic Center is as the name suggests, the center of our galaxy. And it holds tremendous energy and brings forward a lot of mysteries that have been holding us back or that we've been wanting to discover within our lives. The galactic energy that comes forward is supercharged. And with Venus crossing this point, what it means is that it expands our hearts, it expands what we love, it expands our desires, it has us focusing on the positive in our lives and constructing positivity within our lives. So that's a huge thing. We also feel extra abundant on this day and during this time and want to start shifting to positive energy for us to build off of. We open ourselves to our dreams and our dreams really start to open up a lot to us, even if we're one of those people who feels like, oh, I don't dream. This is a time because I just had somebody to do this to me because I was like, oh, I'm, I'm not dreaming right now. Because she said to me, what are your what are your dreams saying to you? And I said, they're not saying anything like I don't dream. And I would say that even when I was younger, like, oh, I just don't dream. And people were like, oh, you have to dream. You just don't remember them. So 
there's a thing here where it's like we don't want to remember what our subconscious is saying. That could be part of why we're so tired because we're not connecting fully with our subconscious. This is a time where we need to give ourselves permission and say, I'm opening myself up to the answers coming through my dreams. And as the answers come through my dreams, seeds are planted of prosperity and abundance and understanding with the Ace of Pentacles. It's God's source spirit, however you see the divine in the universe, handing us gifts of prosperity, success, bounty, handing us tangible things in the waking world to be able to move forward. But it's it's like a garden. We're being given seeds. And if we just throw the seeds gra- down on the ground, yeah, some can grow and some can't, and it's all up to, to chance. But if we plant them carefully, if we nurture them, you know, again, some will grow and some won't. But if we're taking care of them, more will grow than won't. And that's going to be very important here to slow down and take the time to nurture what needs to be nurtured, to, to build. Because there's just, I'm just seeing here, Cancer, just such a, a manic energy around us and then a crash. You know, it's kind of like a, 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 a surge of creativity, of brilliance, of beauty, and then a crash down of like just exhaustion. So being aware of this is going to be very important. Also during this time, because the heart is so strong, we start to look at the ways we were hurt. You know, we're very sensitive energy. We're ruled by the moon. We have this beautiful connection of the heart and the three of swords comes in and it's heartbreak, it's pain, it's disappointment, it's chaos, it's hurt. It's, it's the three great traumas in our lives that have shaped us. And now we start to say, you know what? I don't need to be shaped by this anymore. I don't need for it to come up that I am first this trauma instead of I am first myself and everybody else can get over it anything else that they think is going to hold me back with the hangman that liberation right there of that sense of like oh screw this i'm not going to be defined by it anymore leads us to seeing things so differently it's like i've just freed myself i'm setting myself forward i'm going after what i need and what i want is it painful the hangman to see things differently yeah of course it is but it is also going to be highly liberating and it's going to be a sense of i can move forward in a way i hadn't imagined that i could I can open up doors that I thought were locked to me or that I didn't even know existed because now I'm stepping into this energy, this place, this space, and it brings us to a place of justice. It brings us to a place of power. The justice comes not by saying this is man-made law and this is what has to be followed because we're much more of natural law, Cancer, and that's going to be important because we're of the phases of the moons, the things shifting, this things growing. If we try to contain too much, we stunt ourselves and we'll feel it. We'll rebel against it, but we won't know what we're rebelling against. With the justice here, I have to balance those scales. And the scales are not for anybody else, but for myself. I need to balance the energy within me. I need to balance what I desire. I need to balance pleasing everybody else and pleasing myself. And that starts to come forward very beautifully and very powerfully here. And it shifts. It shifts us to saying, I matter. And that's something that it feels like here, from the cards and the energy around us, it feels like we've forgotten. We've forgotten that we matter or we've forgotten how to take care of ourselves. So stepping into that energy, stepping into what we love, who we are, what we need is going to be so important. It moves us to our subconscious energy to be mindful of. And it's the seven of swords. The seven of swords are lies. I see this more as something that we read or something that somebody wrote, okay, which would be what we read, that it is a lie. It's like, I never said that. I didn't do that. Like, what the heck are you doing here? Like, what's going on here? An acknowledgement of something. It's almost like, it's almost like somebody saying, well, did you know that they said that they said, you know, I heard that they said that you said type of energy coming forward. So just acknowledging this, just acknowledging that people will run, run their mouths. People will, you know, try to be hurtful and hateful and, and chaotic and, and, and heartbreaking and not letting their lies pull you down because that's what they want to do. It moves us to, yeah, that's the energy that's coming forward. Okay. The, the 10 of swords, the 10 of swords is, is the death card in the minor arcana for me. It's the dying away of the old self, a rebirth of the new. There is such a transformation here that you are going to be embracing, that you are going to be moving towards, but it is a sense of, I was shut down. Like it is a sense of there was so much around me. I didn't know I could move forward. And now subconsciously, we're starting to see ourselves rise with new knowledge because of the hurts, the pains, the disappointments, the angers, the fears that we've had to go through. In the Rider-Waite-Smith deck, the Ten of Swords is somebody laying prone on the ground with 10 swords in them. It's overkill. 
We could also be running over something again and again and again in our mind, being like, well, how can I make this different? How could I have saved this? How could I have changed this? And that's going to be a very important thing for us to acknowledge that not everything is about us fixing it. Some things can't be fixed and nor should they be fixed. Some things break because we needed to learn how to live with it being broken. And that's something that's very hard to understand. But Spirit's saying like, sometimes we just need to learn that that will be broken and I need to walk away from it. If somebody else wants to fix it, if somebody else wants to come forward, you know, and kind of like apologize for lies and hurts and, and chaos, that's great. But it's almost like you're done extending the olive branch and that just needs to be acknowledged. All right. All right, Cancer. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Cancer. And may blessings, prosperity, and peace always be with you. God bless.